Hi students, I am S. Mohan Sundari from the Department of Chemistry. In this video, we are going to see Chapter 4, Water. The learning objectives of this video is water pollution, sources of water pollution and the controlling of water pollution. What is water pollution? The contamination of water of rivers, lakes, ponds, sea with unwanted and harmful substances is called water pollution. That is, we are releasing, we are discharging the waste materials to the water so that that water gets contaminated. The quality of the water is get reduced. So it cannot be used by other people or it cannot be used by other animals. So that is called water pollution. There are different causes of water pollution. So the first one is marine dumping. The lots and lots of waste changes are dumped to the sea. That is, we are discharging our waste, we are throwing our waste changes to the sea water. So that's why the sea water also get polluted and industrial waste. So the wastages from the industries are also discharged to the water bodies nearby like rivers or lakes. And the sewages from our households also one of the cause of water pollution. Now see what is water pollutants. The substance that is unwanted as well as harmful which make the water impure or contaminate is called water pollutant. So for example, the main major pollutants of water are sewages, fertilizers, pesticides and industrial wastages. Apart from these main pollutants, there are also soaps and detergents, heavy metals, domestic waste, chemical waste, and organic compounds waste, insecticides, herbicides, food processing wastages, these are also one of the factors of water pollutants. So these pollutants make the water impure. So the main thing is industrial wastages from our home as well as from the agriculture field like uh, fertilizers and pesticides are the main cause of water pollution. So in this picture we can see the various places. So from the rural side, from the city side, from the wastewater treatment plant, from the factories, from the animal field, that means animal feed lot. So these discharges, these many things thrown their wastages, discharging their wastages to the water bodies into the water bodies so that the water bodies like river or it may be lake or it may be sea or sometimes it may be pond so these water bodies get affected get polluted by this kind of waste so apart from these causes the oil spill also one of the water pollution one of the cause of water pollution septic tank animal dung pesticide, industrial waste, nuclear waste and also the waste water. So these are all the causes of water pollution. Now we know what is water pollution, what are the causes of water pollution. Now let us see effect on humans. So if we drink that water which already get polluted, it causes some diseases like the jaundice, cholera, typhoid, dysentery, diarrhea. So it affects our human beings it causes some diseases as well as if we swim in the polluted water it causes some itchiness in our skin as well as if we are contact with the chemical water pollu pollution means it also affects the skin it damages our skin if we intake that chemically polluted water means it also affects the internal parts severely Apart from human beings, the animals are also get affected, especially the sea animals like fishes, sharks, dolphins, seals, 
turtles so these are all the sea animals so these animals also get affected by the polluted water one survey said that 200 turtles are dying each year in australia because the only reason of water pollution that is we are throwing our garbages into the water so you can see in this picture the turtle has a plastic cover in its mouth if it intakes that plastic cover its internal digestive system gets totally damaged so it die so that is we should control the water pollution by avoiding the garbage throwing into the water okay apart from animals some birds and mammals are also get affected by the water pollution so if that oil is mixed in the water means that birds which sitting which searches the food from the sea or from the water body gets affected by that by that oil which is mixed in the water so it gets coated all over its body it cannot be removed it affects the skin totally so the water pollution cause an effect in the animals as well as birds and mammals so huge and huge tons and tons of millions of fishes are dying every year because the only reason of the pollution in water next controlling of water pollution so the sewage should be treated properly before it discharged into the rivers so it should be treated in the sewage treatment plant as well as the farmers should use the correct amount of fertilizers and pesticides in the agriculture fields so therefore if it is washed by the rain water drain it can be discharged into the river or lakes but if we use the correct amount of fertilizer and pesticides it does not affect the water bodies so that we should not use excessive amount of fertilizers and pesticides and our government implement one law one act to prevent the water pollution that is called india's water act this act was implemented in the year of 1974 in order to control the water pollution and to prevent the water pollution so this act strictly says we have to control we have to prevent the water pollution so this is mainly for industries because the industries releasing discharging huge water waste water to the river and lakes as well as we have to make aware we have to make ourselves aware in the control of water pollution and have to prevent the water pollution and we should not throw garbages into the open drains or rivers lakes or ponds so we have to cooperate to control the water pollution so we have to participate in cleanup process and we have to do small things to avoid the wastage of water like waste the turn off the running water and use the correct amount of fertilizers so the next one is conservation of water so these are the steps apart from this you can make control the water wastage of water so we have to turn off the tap immediately after each and every use so if there is any leakages we have to repair the tap so because each drop is valuable so if the drop is waste for every second drop of water is wasting for every second means in a year it is equal to 1000 liters so that we are wasting thousands and thousands liters of water for a year like this a single drop so we have to take a concern in this leakaging taps as well as we have to brush our teeth by filling water in a mug we should not turn on the tap and then start brushing we have to fill the water in a mug and then brush our teeth okay take bath by filling water in a bucket and not directly under the running tap as well as washing our utensils by filling water in a basin and not under the running tap so that we can avoid 
excess amount of water. Next, use the water from washing our rice, pulses, vegetables because this water can be used in the watering our plants in home. And uh, if it is needed, we can use full flush in a cistern in the toilet. We should, but half flush is sufficient means we can use half flush. Do not use the full flush from the cistern in the toilet. And we have to plant more trees and the rainwater should be harvested. So let us see what is rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting means the activity of collecting the rainwater directly and storing it in the big tanks for our future use. And the another thing is collecting the rainwater and make to the recharge of our groundwater. Make directly pass to the ground and that we and this way we can recharge our groundwater. So this is called rainwater harvesting. The main technique used in rainwater harvesting means we are collecting the rainwater and we are storing it for the future use when there is an water scarcity. So it helps to recharge the wells and groundwater. So we have to conserve water and save the planet. Thank you students.